30. Okay, um, street beefs actually started by accident at first, believe it or not. Uh, it started with me and my workout partner, Wes Craven. We were sparring after the gym to get our cardio up. And uh, some guys from the neighborhood came and also wanted to participate in the sparring and stuff like that. Could you turn just a little bit this way? Oh, there you go. Like that? Uh, right here, yeah. Um, they wanted to participate in some of the sparring, uh, so we allowed it. But then it gravitated from there. We had one guy who was involved in drug dealing, and he felt that somebody else had snitched on him. And they were angry with each other. The guy that was accused of being a snitch was just as angry, because he said he didn't. And they asked me, can we come over there and put gloves on in your yard and fight and solve it? And I said, wait a minute, what good's that going to do? Y'all are just fight afterwards, too. And he was like, nah, if you let us fight and get it out, we'll be good. So gave me an idea. And I was like, well, this could be good. And we let them do it. And they, they aren't best friends. But they walked away, and we left it. Uh, but after that, several other people started coming around asking, can we fight in your yard? Can we solve something in your yard? So things just kind of materialized from there to where I kind of put together a code of ethics. You know, it has to be this way. It has to be, because the number one goal was don't let anybody get killed, and don't let it escalate things. We don't want to make it worse by letting them fight. So we kind of, just from there, and then along the way, I had two or three friends that were murdered here in Harrisonburg. Um, 